Taylor Swift lyrics that suggest she manifested her relationship with Travis Kelce. Taylor Swift is a mastermind, there's no question about it, but the singer might just be able to tell the future as well. Us Weekly is here to suggest that tons of Swift song lyrics over the years have pointed to, or shall we say manifested, her relationship with Travis Kelce. As the story goes, Kel saw Swift's Era's tour concert in July 2023 and discussed the show with his brother on their New Heights podcast. By September of that year, Swift and Kels were Hollywood's biggest power couple. Madison respond to Crystal's claims Girls Next Door created a rivalry between them. 043. This all started when Travis very adorably put me on blast on his podcast, which I thought was metal as hell, Swift recalled during her Time magazine interview in December 2023, noting that they started hanging out right after that. While their relationship has captured the zeitgeist since its inception, Swift and Kel spent the beginning of their whirlwind romance out of the public eye. We actually had a significant amount of time that no one knew, which I'm grateful for, because we got to get to know each other, she told Time. By the time I went to that first game, we were a couple. I think some people think that they saw our first date at that game. We would never be psychotic enough to hard launch a first date. Since that fateful Kansas City Chiefs game in September 2023, both Swift and Kels have been supporting each other publicly. While she attended 13 of his NFL games in the 2023-2024 season, he's been spotted at various eras tour shows overseas. Not to mention, Swift has already written multiple very personal love songs about her man. She's written at least two songs, a source told us weekly in March 2024. They have to do with their love story and falling in love with him. While these songs remain to be seen, Swift has an expansive discography which features some nods to her current romance. Keep scrolling to see which of Swift's songs might have manifested her relationship with Kels. Mary's song. The lyric, and I'll be 87, you'll be 89. The Travis Kels connection. Kels is a tight end on the Kansas City Chiefs, and the number on his jersey is 87. Swift just might have predicted her romance with Kels in this 2009 song. 15. The lyric, but in your life, you'll do things greater than dating the boy on the football team. The Travis Kels connection, it can be argued that Swift has already done things greater than dating a boy on a football team, but she did seem to know that she would, indeed, be in a relationship with a football player at one point. You belong with me. The lyric, but she wears short skirts, I wear t-shirts, she's cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers. The Travis Kels connection, less of a lyrics thing and more of a music video one. You Belong With Me is chock full of references to a sports star and his untraditional girlfriend. Swift might be sitting on the bleachers, but she's making tons of headlines doing so. Superstar. The lyric, when my world wakes up today, you'll be in another town, and I knew when I saw your face, I'd be counting down the ways to see you, you smile that beautiful smile, and all the girls in the front row scream your name. The Travis Kels connection, Kels and Swift were constantly waking up in different cities at the beginning of their relationship because of his NFL game schedule and her era's tour dates. Kels having said beautiful smile is subjective but women definitely scream his name. Long life. The lyric, we are the kings and the queens, you traded your baseball cap for a crown, when they gave us our trophies, and we held them up for our town. The Travis Kels connection, Kels did win Super Bowl 58 in February 2024 when they were dating, and he did hold up the trophy for Kansas City. Ours. The lyric, and it's not theirs to speculate if it's wrong and, your hands are tough, but they are where mine belong. The Travis Kels connection, social media is abuzz with discussion of Kels and Swift's romance, some wondering if he's the one for the singer. Some Swifties are sold on their relationship while others have their opinion about it being wrong.